Hello everyone, welcome to Gangs of PCM. This is Priyanshu and together we are going to solve all your physics related worries. The question we are going to solve today is from J Mains exam held in January of 2020. This question is from chapter alternating current and to solve this question we need to know the concept of current in inductor resistor circuit at any given time. Now let us solve the question. So we have a circuit. In the circuit we have a battery, we have a resistor and we have a inductor. Let's say we have also have a key. So this is key. We have an inductor whose inductance L is given as 10 milli henrys or you can say it is 0 0.01 henrys. So this is your L. Resistor is given as 5 ohms and the potential V, V0 let's say it is V0 and potential is given as 20 volts. Now to solve this question we have to first understand the behavior of inductor when the current starts to flow through it. So as at t equals to 0 if we close the key and the current just begins to start flowing in the circuit. So at t equals to 0 the current starts to flow into the inductor. Now the property of inductor is it resists the change in current flowing through it. Okay, so what does it mean? If we want to change the current which is flowing through this inductor, then it would resist that change by applying a back EMF. So that is the property of an inductor. Okay, now at t equals to 0 since earlier there was no current in the circuit and at t equals to 0 when we have connected the when we have connected the key current would try to flow in the circuit but this inductor would not allow it to pass through itself it would resist that change so the current would increase very slowly into the inductor so we'll say at t equals to 0 the current in the circuit would be 0 now after sufficiently long amount of time has been passed let's say t equals to infinity the current the inductor is resisting the flow of change of current but the current is changing it is slowly increasing so at infinity what would happen the maximum current would be reached at, at the maximum value let's say the maximum at this instant the current is i naught okay at this time the current has reached its maximum value and it would no longer try to change the inductor would behave like a straight wire with negligible resistance okay so that means what the potential difference across would be across the inductor would be how much zero that means all of the potential would drop across our resistor hence we can say your i naught is equals to potential upon resistance v by r which is equals to 20 by 5 or you can say 4 amperes so now let's remember so at infinity when time is infinity the current is maximum and your beginning of the circuit at the beginning of the circuit the current is zero so these two things you have to keep in mind and in between the current is changing through the circuit so let us one second draw the circuit so we have this resistor we have this inductor and they are connected with each other potential v naught resistance R0 and inductance L. At any instant of time, let's say the potential across inductor is VL. The current th flowing through it is I like this. We will take a loop like this. So this would be your positive end. This would be your negative end because current would be flowing in this direction. Okay. So now if we draw uh, if we apply applying KVL Kirchhoff's voltage law applying KVL in the circuit what we'll get we'll get V0 see V0 we'll start from here let's see where this is A B C D so we'll have what Kirchhoff's law VB minus VA potential across this branch so VB minus VA this way is V0 Vc minus Vb this is minus IR 
and vd minus vc this would give you minus va and total is zero sum of potential in a closed loop is zero so we'll have from here as v0 is equals to ir plus vl now what do we know we know that the potential across inductor at any instant of time is given as l inductance and rate of change of current through the inductor so this is the potential at inductor or potential across inductor at any given time so we can change this formula as v0 is equals to ir plus l times di by dt okay so we are, we are getting a sort of integral integral equation from here rearrange it so you will have a differential equation or integral equation v0 minus ir divided by l is equals to di by dt now rearrange it what you will get from here you'll have dt by l is equals to di by v0 minus ir okay so we have um, i variable over here di as here so we'll have i variable with, with di and since we have no variable of time so we'll only have l over here which is a constant so v0 r and l are constant i is variable so now if you want to integrate it let's say we integrate it so what we'll get we get integration of dt by l is equals to integration of di by v0 minus ir so let's integrate it you'll get t by l is equals to ln see this is a linear variable or i is in the power of i is 1 so the variable would be or the in integral would be v0 minus ir divided by minus r plus constant of integration this would be our formula now we know the initial condition what is that at t equals to 0 current in the circuit is 0 okay so if you put the, these values here you will get what 0 is equals to minus ln v0 by r plus c and this would give you value of c as So this equation becomes what t by l is equals to ln v naught minus ir by r minus plus ln v naught by r. So we can take r as LCM and sending minus r over here. So we'll have r t by l is equals to ln v0 minus ir plus ln v0 now you can apply the property of log which is log m plus log n is equals to or this would be minus sign my mistake if you take minus as a common it would have over you'll have a minus sign over here so the property of log uh, log m minus log n is log of m by n this would be the formula We'll have minus sign over here rt by l okay so now if we divide by v naught what we'll get minus rt by l is equals to ln 1 minus i r by v naught now since i naught maximum current at t equals to infinity i naught was how much v naught by r so r by v naught would be 1 by i naught so we'll have minus rt by l is equals to ln 1 minus i by i naught this is the integral form of or this is the logarithmic form of current in a inductor resistor circuit which is connected to a dc battery at any given time now if you take the anti log on both sides you will get what 1 minus i by i naught is equals to e to the power minus rt by l okay and even when we rearrange it what we will get we will get i is equals to i naught 1 minus e to the power minus rt by l 
So now this gives you the formula. Let us write, let me write it again. This gives me the formula of current in inductor resistor circuit when connected to a DC battery at any given interval of time or any given time. Now in question, we have I0 as V0 by R which is equals to 4 amperes and we have R as 5 ohms, we have L as 0 0.01 Henry's and yeah so these are all the variables we have over here so time at 40 uh, at t equals to 40 seconds we have to find the current t equals to 40 seconds okay so this what we give you what i is equals to i naught which is equals to how much 4 1 minus e to the power let's see from here minus 5 into 40 divided by 0 0.01 if we solve this, we'll get 1 minus e to the power minus 2000. Okay, so if we further solve it, we'll have 1 minus e to the power 2000, which can also be written as 1 minus e square to the power 1000. Okay, now the value of e square is given in the equation. If we go back and look at the equation, the value of E square is given to us 7.389 7.389 so we'll have I from here as 4 1 minus E to the power 7.389 to the power 1000 now see if we calculate the thousandth power of this number this would be a very large number very large number in denominator okay that means this value would be very small this overall value would be very small okay so we can almost neglect it so we can say i is approximately equals to 4 not approximately equal to we can say it is slightly less than 4 okay so this is what i40 now in the question we have to find out the ratio of current at infinity to the current at 40 seconds so which would be i infinity is what i naught divided by i at 40 so i naught is given as what 4 we have calculated that and i40 is what 4 this is also 4 but this is not exactly 4 this is slightly less than 4 so if we solve this ratio, we will get this ratio close to 1. I have to figure out whether this ratio would be is approximately equal to 1. Will it ratio be less than 1, slightly less than 1 or slightly more than 1? So we can say the denominator is slightly less than 4. So we can say this ratio would be slightly more than 1. So very very by a very small amount this would be greater than 1 very 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 small amount so let's look at our options and see which of the options are fitting into the picture so see can you can see the option c this is 1.06 this is 1.05 this is we are straight away neglecting because this is less than 1 first option is very greater than 1 this is a large value this is a large difference between the 1 and this value so we are going to neglect this out of these two values the shorter one we'll choose the shorter one because it is just just slightly greater than one so we'll the correct answer will choose is d i hope you were able to learn something from this video if you like the video please coming back uh, thank you